What's going on, YouTube? This is SG1 Sports, and you're watching our Big Ten channel. Going to give you a very early projected record for the Oregon Ducks. Keep in mind, this is not a prediction. This is simply a projection based off of how tough the schedule is and how good we expect each team to be. Uh, simply just a formula that we use. Before we get to the 2024 projections, let's look back at the projections from 2023. Here's where Oregon was projected going into last season. Of course, they were 11-1 in the regular season. Our projection had them at 10 and 2. My prediction had them at 10 and 2. You know, the Pac 12 wound up going not quite how I expected. Utah and USC were not as good as I thought they were going to be, and that kind of changed things around a little bit. But uh, 10 and 2 was the projection, and again, my prediction. I thought I actually had this team at 9 and 3, so they were even lower, and the over under was at 9.5. So 9 and 3, 10 and 2, that was really where this team was expected to be. They exceeded those expectations. Win 11 and 1. And I think most people had thought this team was going to be really good. It's just some other teams, like I said, were not as good as uh, we expected them to be. All right, so let's get back to the schedule here. And this is the scale that we use. So if it's a 50 uh, 50 game, it'll stay in the white. That's a game I think the spread will be less than a touchdown. Less than 20 over 80, those are games where I think the spread will be, uh, you know, pretty big spread, 17 plus points. 20 to 29, 71 to 80 games where I think the spread will be a double digits, 10 to 16, maybe in that range, and then 30 to 39, 61 to 70 games where I think the spread will be around a touchdown, six, seven, eight, nine points. And again, it's not necessarily about those numbers I just gave you. That's just kind of a, a way to look at this. Uh, the way I do these projections is I have a tier system and um, I have a formula that I use. But anyways, let's get into it and see the projection. We've got Idaho, Boise State, Michigan State, Purdue, Illinois, and Maryland all winding up in the green here, all projected wins. And again, Oregon projected to be a pretty big favorites in all these games. Now that Maryland one is a little bit tricky because I just don't know where to put them. I don't know how good this team's going to be. That's a, a tough, you know, I've got five tiers in, in this system that I use and I have Maryland as a tier four team. Uh, if they turn out to be more of a tier three team, which they were last year, then that one could possibly be in the blue. But as of right now, that one's in the green. Again, this is very early. These are not our predictions. Uh, that, that's the reason why we're doing this so early. I mean, it's we just started February. And so um, long ways to go before we get to actual official predictions. This is simply just a, a projection based off of, again, how tough the schedule is. But you've got six games that they should win. And then you've got Oregon State, UCLA, and Washington. I think they're going to be double-digit favorites in these games. Oregon State loses a lot. Washington loses a lot. UCLA, and I expect it to be great. Uh, so I think Oregon's favored by a lot in all three of those games. Probably, you know, if I had to guess right now, 14-point favorites over Oregon State and Washington. UCLA may be a little closer to 10. But, uh, again, those are games that Oregon will be a clear favorite in. And then we'll go to Wisconsin. This one's in the purple. It is on the road. Tough place to play. Late in the season, I could see this one being more of a, a seven or eight point spread, but I still think Oregon will be favored uh, and would be very surprised if it's any different. You know, maybe Wisconsin turns out to be better than we expect, but as of right now, I think Wisconsin's going to be a borderline top 25 team. Oregon, again, a tier one team. That game is on the road, though, and that's why I think the spread will be uh, where, it, where it will be here, around six, seven, eight points. And so, again, they'll be favored. I think you can say, without a doubt, they will be favored in at least 10 of their games. They might even be favored in every game. They get Ohio State at home. They do have Michigan on the road, but this is a Michigan team that is not expected to be as good as they were last year. I think you can expect at least some drop-off from this team. Uh, but because it's on the road, I would still think it's probably a 50-50 game, and Ohio State a 50-50 game. So the projection comes out to 10-2 and for Oregon. And I've said this in other videos, 10 and two is as good as it gets. I don't think we're going to see a team with a projection over 10 and two because the schedules are so much more difficult with all these new conferences or with the, all the conference realignment. And so the projection would say that they're probably going to split with Ohio State, and Michigan, and then Oregon State, UCLA, Wisconsin, Washington, they probably slip up and lose one of those games, or perhaps they lose to both Ohio State, and Michigan and beat everyone else. But however you want to get there, you know, there are different ways you can get to that record, but 10 and two again, would be the projection for Oregon, same as Ohio State. And it seems like those teams probably uh, are going to be projected at the top of the Big Ten. Do you agree with these projections? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below.